Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over VRRP configuration on Cisco routers. And if you missed my last video on HSRP, I highly recommend it because this is going to be a very similar in concept. So I'm not going to explain as much as I did on the last video um, in hopes that this one will be like half the time. <clears throat> so I'm just going to jump right into the config. R1, we can see as a default gateway of 10.0.123.254, and that's the address we're going to use as our VRRP virtual IP. So let's hop into R2, and we're going to go on our interface, our LAN interface, and we're going to use the VRRP command. And here we can set the group number 12255. We're going to set it to 123. And I'm going to set the IP address of 10.0.123.254. So this is very similar to HSRP so far. But the difference is now is that when I do a show command, I'm going to do show VRRP. I can see that the state is master. So where HSRP it was active and standby, now we have master and backup. So R2 is the master, and we're going to want it to stay that way. But for right now, we'll just take a look at what we have. We have preemption is enabled by default, and priority is 100. So let's go to R3, and let's configure um, the interface as well. So VRP, 123, IP. Uh, one, two, oh. Okay. So we see now here the state is backup. Priority is also 100, which is the default. Um, it doesn't see the master yet. Now it does. Um, and actually, it looks like it took over. So the reason it took over is due to the election process. Um, R3 and R2 have the same priority, but R3 has a higher configured IP address, so it just took over as master. We don't want that. We want R2 to be our primary link to the internet. So let's go ahead to R2 and let's configure the priority. So VRP123 priority, and we'll configure it to 110. So now we can see we're the master again, and if we go down to R1, and we trace to our internet IP address, we can see we're going from 2 to 5. So this works out pretty well. Um, you know, R2, if it goes down, let's go ahead and shut this interface. Let's see how long it takes to show VRP. Now we are the master and R1, we can trace through three, which is great. And then R2 comes back up. And we're the master again. So this is, I mean, if you know HSRP, you pretty much know VRRP. To be honest, it's very similar. Just some of the terminology is different. Um, some of the theory stuff behind the scenes, like the actual transport being used and ports, stuff like that. But, you know, keep in mind that preemption is enabled by default. And, you know, it's pretty much going to act the same. Um, if we want to configure tracking, we could do it exactly the same way we did with HSRP. And I'll show you that. We'll configure an IP SLA, and I'm going to do an ICMP echo for 25.5, which is the internet router for R2. We'll do a frequency of 5. I'm going to set the schedule so that it just pings forever, and the start time is now. I'll set my tracking object for that SLA. And we're gonna do it based on reachability. And I'm gonna select my I'm gonna set my delay and up timers to one second because I want this to happen fairly quickly. And now very similar to HSRP, we're gonna go into the interface. Uh, 
VRRP. Remember to say VRRP instead of standby uh, when you're doing the configuration, if, if you're, especially if you're jumping back and forth. Um, track, and you can see it's very similar. We set our tracked object. This time we don't get the option to do a shutdown of the group, but we do have the option to decrement the priority, which is what we want anyway. And I'm gonna set it to 110. And those are the only options we have. So we're gonna decrement to 110 if that goes down. Let's show uh, IP SLA statistics. Number of successes is good. Show track. We're up. All right, so now if I go to five, and I'm gonna, that's still up from my last video, but int gig 125, let's just shut the interface. Tracking is up. It should fail in a few seconds. There we go. Delayed down, one second remaining. Now we're down. And now if we do a show standby. Oh, sorry. Let's see? Show VRRP. I can see we're back up, and it's because our state is down. And the priority is zero, where our configured priority was 110. So we decremented it by 110. It's down to zero. And now the master router is three. So this works very similar to HSRP. Like I said, a lot of stuff is just going to be in the reading. You know, I recommend reading the docs, reading the RFC. But as far as the difference between HSRP and VRRP configuration goes, it's very similar. Just remember to use VRRP instead of standby and um, you're good to go. Um, so I will link that HSRP video in the, um, in the description so you can take a look at that. If you have any questions, comments, you know, leave them below and um, we'll see you on the next one where I'm going to try to cover GLBP, which is quite different actually from VRRP and HSRP.